G'day, how you going? Welcome back for some more Green and Gold. Hot dang, I'm super excited. Today's the day, we're getting the grooming reel in this bad boy. Yes! Mate, I can't wait for the new growing season to get this amongst the fleet and out on the deck and uh, mate, just get the lawn looking good. Anyway, we're a bit far away from there yet. <laughs> so today, what we're doing is we are getting our real bearing housings back in. We are also going to make sure everything's square. So I want to make sure my rear roller is square and also the new grooming reel as well because we don't want it all cattywampus, man. You know what I mean? We don't want one side digging in and one side not, yada, yada, yada. So that's on the cards for today. Let's get started. Would you have a look at this fair income bit of kit here? My goodness. A little tip from me to you. Do not drop this on your foot or anything else. <laughs> it will make absolute mincemeat of whatever you drop that on. So... I picked this up from George, SB Fab and Parts, uh, Mo Parts Oz. So thanks to George for that. This one was a uh, special order. <laughs> so thanks heaps to George for putting in the uh, elbow grease on this one, man. And I can tell you, I'm absolutely blown away. My initial impressions of the reel are that it's a fair income quality build, eh? So it's made 100% here in Australia, apart from the bearings. So the bearings are from Japan. But apart from that, it's assembled here in Australia using Australian steel, which is good. So it's hardened steel as well for longevity. So hopefully uh, it's gonna stand up to that wear and tear that we put it through on our yards. It's also a five and a half inch diameter there. So it's probably a little bit bigger than our reels, but this has to cut into our canopy as well. So it's gonna get right down there. Now it's not designed to go into the soil profile because this is a grooming reel and not a verti. So um, we need to be careful of that. We only really wanna be cutting the, um, the canopy with this one. It also comes with a woodruff key already installed on the end, ready to go, and the, uh, and the locking nut there too. So. But the kit's all ready to go, which is good. The kit also comes with a dummy sole plate here. So this has a few functions. First being, it's there to supply rigidity to the frame. So uh, by removing our initial sole plate there, you know, it could get a little bit wobbly on us. So that's what this is doing. It also has uh, locating lugs for our deflector plate. So it, it helps channel uh, all of the, the muck and stuff we dig out of our lawns towards the catcher. It's also solid the whole way through here so that it stops deflecting stuff into the rear roller. So, mate, happy to get that installed in the Scotty and out amongst the fleet. Rightio, let's get to it, eh? So the first thing I'll be installing is pretty easy. It's the old dummy sole plate here. So don't worry, you can't get it in backwards. All you need to do is make sure that the locating lugs for the deflect plate is up the top. It should be pretty sweet. One thing I'll also be doing is installing the bolt from inside the mower out. So the head of the bolt will be inside the mower and the nut of the bolt will be outside the mower. That's so that a whole bunch of snot and junk doesn't collect on the thread, making it hard to undo. Let's get to it, eh? The next thing for install is our real bearing housing. Now these are adjustable. This is what we're sort of tinkering with when we're setting our reel down to our bed knife. But we're not installing a reel and bed knife here. We're putting in a groomer and dummy sole plate. However, these are still really important because we need to be able to adjust our grooming reel to our height of cut as well because we don't actually want it digging into the soil profile. So still really important. There is a fundamental difference between these two reel bearing housings that we need to understand. This one has a little bit of a spacer or a little bit of a groove at the back of it. This is to locate the bearing in the correct position so that when we put on our, our drive sprocket, it's all in the right spot. So pretty important to get this on the drive side of our lawnmower. Radio, let's keep going, eh?
The next thing for installation is our reel adjustment bolt here. This is what we're tinkering with when we're trying to get our reel to bed knife adjustment just right, or in our instance, the groomer. So uh, this bolts into our reel bearing housing just here, and that's what sort of picks it up or lowers it just to make those fine adjustments. So when installing this, there's a few things we want to keep in the back of our mind. The first thing is I've put the bolt about halfway up. That's because it was wicked mad painful to sit here with a screwdriver and a spanner and, and sort of undo it the whole way. So it was like a five or six minute job. So I've, uh, I've at least reduced it by about half just trying to get that to there. The second of all is our washer. So the washer here is going to be installed to the under, underneath of the um, bolt head and sit on top of the bracket here. So they would go in there just like that. Third of all, is that's a reverse thread. So uh, when you're actually bolting it into our bracket here, just keep in mind that it's reverse thread. All right, let's keep going, eh? Rightio, now that we've installed all of that stuff, the time has come to install the grooming reel. Yes! <laughs> so it's, uh, it's pretty straightforward, eh? All we're gonna do is we're gonna aim for this woodruff key and shaft side to go in through, the, um, in through the drive side here. Now I'll be making sure to install it all the way over this side of the mower with the bearing touching that little locating lug that we have on the reel bearing housing over this side. Rightio, let's do it. Alright, it's time to lock away the grooming reel with the uh, top of the reel bearing house. While I've got the engine off, I'm going to take this time to make sure everything's cut nice and square. So this can be done one of two ways. I'll be using the height of cut bar method today. So basically what we'll do is we'll line up the bolt of our height of cut bar on the dummy sole plate. Because that, that doesn't move, that's not adjustable, that's set in spot. So we can always refer back to there to make sure everything's cut and sweet. So what we're going to do is just drop that on the back roller, on the front roller and make sure the bolt's lining up with the dummy sole plate and then just adjust that to fit. So that's, that's, uh, that bolt is now touching. So what I'm gonna do now is pick this up and transfer this down here. So I can see there, in this instance, I've got about four or five mil worth of play between the two sides here. So that's not quite close enough for myself. So I'm gonna have to adjust up my rear roller. So when adjusting our rear roller, there's only one side we can really adjust being the, um, the non-drive side. Because on the drive side, we've got a whole bunch of sprockets and chains and all that sort of stuff in the way. So there are a few bolts on this side we can adjust just to lower that down a little bit. Let's get to it, eh? What I'm gonna do is crack the three bolts on the side here. So I'm just gonna crack them and back them off just a little bit because what I want is it for it to still provide friction. What I don't wanna do, for example, blow it way out of proportion here, is to wind them right off, take them right off and have this slip down 
and beer. So what I'm going to do is just leave them tight just a little bit and then uh, persuade this down with a rubber mallet. Rightio, let's do that, eh? Okay, now we've got our rear roller nice and square, I have to use the same technique for our grooming reel. So if we think about it uh, conceptually in first principles, what we normally or usually have with our lawnmower setup is we adjust our reel down to a stationary bed knife on a sole plate. However, in this instance we've got a grooming reel that comes into contact with nothing, so we still need this to be relatively square. So I'm going to use the same, um, going to use the same part of cut bar trick that we use for our rear roller on our groomer here. And what that's going to do is make sure it's nice and square so that so that one side doesn't dip into the soil profile or anything like that. So it's cutting a nice uniform depth across the whole turf. Radio, let's get going. <laughs> Radio, by all theory shown, this is uh, all squared up, ready to go. So uh, last thing for me to do today is to get this sprocket on. Wanted to send a big shout out to George from SB Fab and Parts for supplying the groomer kit. You know, cheers mate. To me, it comes across as a real quality build and I'm excited to test it out and see how it gets on. So if you guys are looking for any SB parts, hit him up, his link's in the description below. He's probably forgotten more about Scott Bonner than I'll ever know. So if you do need anything, Hit him up, and I'm uh, quite sure he'll sort you out, eh? Alright, you guys do me a wicked mad favour, and take it easy. I'll chat you wrong. <laughs>